Good morning! It has been a while since I've vlogged or posted any video at all. Um, February was quite a busy month. I was just involved in a lot of work and making videos was definitely something on my mind um, but it ended up having to be pushed to um, kind of the bottom of the list. But uh, I definitely had a lot of things that I wanted to cover and I thought maybe doing a vlog style would be a little bit easier for me instead of doing a whole sit down setup. Lots going on. It's starting to warm up this week. So happy about that. I can actually hear birds chirping outside the apartment building which is pretty awesome considering that I live right smack in the middle of um, downtown. I think on the east side of downtown uh, is what we're considered. So. The lake is actually thawing out. It is 52 right now, which is incredible. So, um, lots of journaling things to cover. Mainly, this whole desk setup, um, as you can see, my cart is chaos right now because I actually ended up getting a little bit more craft supplies in the past, mm, well, month, I want to say. And then I discovered, I, th I saw something online saying that it was National Craft Month. I'm pretty sure it's Craft Month. And I kind of embraced that because I started quite a few projects. Just a few um, little ones because I didn't want anything too elaborate. But I've got a supply haul that I'll probably be doing later today. Because um, I got quite a few of these chalk inks and some Cavallini and Company products and uh, my new favorite art medium, which I'm going to show you in a moment, but lots of journaling. I've been in my Blue Midori for over a month, yeah, over a month and a half now, and I'm really loving that, so I'll give you an update about that later. I'm having my Tea Pigs every, Everyday Brew, which is a black tea that's similar to a breakfast blend. Um, in my Snoopy mug. It's kind of out of season now, so I'm kind of looking uh, for maybe a spring mug. I'm not a mug collector, but I feel like a spring one is in need. Changed my desk around a little bit, so I've got my vision board there. My new anthropology, I think it's supposed to be a tea light candle holder, but I use it for pens. My bunny bank um, I don't use it as a bank, but I got it at West Elm, but it kind of looks like a Brancusi sculpture, which I like about it. Dormon, and my Peter Bunny sculpture, little figurine that Brian got me once uh, for Christmas, and my cool pencil box from Fred Aldis in Manchester. I really like this photo of me in front of the National uh, Gallery in London. And I've got a home economics, vintage advice, and practical science for the 21st century household. I thought that would be a fun read. I got that on Amazon. And so that's kind of my setup right now. I'm It's work at home today, but I will be checking in with you guys later on some different journaling things. So I will see you then. Okay guys, so one of my new favorite things to do with my Midori is using these Tim Holtz Distress Stains. I have seen these around, I've seen people mention them in videos and like the results of it, but I never knew exactly how they worked until I saw um, some videos and then I just stalked the internet about with um demonstrations on how to use this and all the swatches to see which ones I liked. I am obsessed with these now. These are my new favorite thing to use in my Midori. It's like a just nice wash of color. You can stain fabrics with it, even wood. They're so easy to use because um, it's like a dauber. So if you, you kind of like press against it on the paper or the surface that you're working with and then you start spreading it. And because it's water-based, um, I believe you can blend with it um, depending on the type of paper that you're using. On print paper it doesn't necessarily blend very well, it just kind of it's just streaky. But on Midori paper it is beautiful. You can blend with it. Um, it kind of sits on the surface so you have time to work with it. 
which is really nice. You can layer it to get it more saturated. I love these. Five to seven dollars depending on which one that you're using. So you can see within like a few days I've acquired quite a few. Um, but I wanted to talk about this one. This is supposed to be old paper. And on camera, it kind of looks a little bit more brownish, but it's coming off as green in person. So for somebody who loves vintage things in old paper, this doesn't quite look like old paper. Old paper to me is like yellowy, very brownish. Do you know what I mean? Like when you open an old book from like the 50s and 60s, even the 40s, the paper is yellow. It doesn't come off as green. So every other stain has been pretty spot on in terms of like the name, like bundled sage looks like bundled sage. But old paper just doesn't look like it's old paper. I don't know, I just, I'm a little put off because I, I love the name of it, but the color doesn't come off. It just looks like a lighter muted version of bundled sage. So I'm thinking maybe tea dye is going to be the one that I want, which has more of a yellowy, antique -y look. I highly recommend getting these if you're interested in a nice wash of color to your pages. I haven't gotten too creative with it. I've, I've tried dyeing lace uh, as part of a, a little project that I'm working on, and that worked out pretty well. And they wash off, too, so if you get like the blenders and things like that, I've heard that you can just wash them and reuse them because it's all water-based stain. So that's really cool. So, um, I have Victorian Velvet, which is one of my favorites, Bundled Sage. These two together are very pretty if you're looking for like a shabby chic Jane Austen kind of uh, color scheme. This is Old Paper. Shaded Lilac, that's one of my favorites. And then this is a very nice bright color, Picked Raspberry. I really like that one, and that goes well with the Peacock Feathers. That's another very bright, very saturated color. And then Vintage Photo, which is exactly what it is. It's like that sepia brown shade. So those are my new favorite things to play with, um, and I'll check in with you guys later with more goodies that I've gotten in the past month. So I thought I'd do a little haul for you. This is stuff that I was not just one big shopping spree. It was things that I've just accumulated over the past month or so. And hopefully, like this stuff that I'm about to show you is still available at Joann's. Um, the rest uh, I know are definitely available in case you're interested. So these are the Jolie's Boutique's um, adhesive labels. And... They're just in like the little Paris section of Joann's, which is usually like the aisles where they have all their seasonal decorative stuff and their, you know, whatever lines that they decide to come up with. And it was like $6, which obviously at Joann's you can get them on sale, but it's 112 pieces each pack, 124 for this one, and they're all stickers. They're all just sticker labels that you can just peel off the backs of. They were a great deal, so hopefully you guys can still find them. I keep them all in a pouch here. But to give you an example of what they have is like this stuff, this. They have gold foil stickers, which I thought were really cool. So that's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see. So there's a hot air balloon. But it was such a great deal. When they first came out, I bought them not on sale because I'm like, you know what? This stuff usually sells out if you're interested. And I actually managed to get one more pack while it was on sale before they were just completely wiped out from my store. But they're just so pretty. And they have... It's a huge pack of stuff that you can get for a really good deal. Even if you paid $6, that's a lot of like little journaling bits that you can stick in your journal. So, um, Jolie's Boutique's adhesive labels. So they have this kind of like idea that you can use them for art projects, but I think it's a great thing for journaling, sticking in your Midori. Um, even if you're a scrapbooker, that would be a great thing if you're interested in like Paris, shabby chic, things like that. And then I had mentioned those stains. I did pick that up, but then I also wanted some kind of like Tim Holtz-y things because I was just really in the mood for Tim Holtz things. So I got three packs of rub-ons. This is the botanical theme. Uh, two sheets each. 
So there's plenty. This is the Elements. I've had this one before and I really like it. And then Special Delivery because I like the whole airmail theme, especially for when I travel, which I've got some things coming up planned, so these will come in handy. And then I'm really into stamping, so I got this one at my local um, stationery shop. This is the Vintage Office Rubber Stamps set. So when you open it up, it does come with an ink pad and all these nice wooden stamps. I like that they come in their own cases, so I don't have to worry about storing it. And then I really wanted the Par Avion uh, Rubber Stamps set, which I have been using a lot. And I'll show you why in a moment, too. Um, so I, I love using this one a lot. Uh, along with that kind of airmail theme, I originally had ordered this from Amazon through like a different seller. And they accidentally sent me the postcards instead. They were so nice about it because I emailed them and I said, well, I ordered the stickers. Because these stickers are hard to find. They're sold out on Amazon themselves, so I had to go through a seller through Amazon for it. And they actually happened to have it. Or no, I think I had to search it online, not through Amazon. And if I can find their shop um, contact info, I'll link it below because their customer service was excellent. The guy got back to me as soon as possible saying, hey, we found this. It was on the packaging table, so I'll send it out right away. Um, it was priority shipping, so I got everything pretty quickly, and I was able to keep the postcards, which was really nice. So I just I have a set of postcards now. So that'll be great for pen paling and I love this set of stickers um, as I get free two-day shipping is when you buy these individually they're so much more expensive than buying them in a set because I originally just wanted the black and I possibly wanted the red the black one was like six dollars this was like five this whole set was eight dollars so it was just worth it for me to buy the whole set and then like if I didn't end up using these other two colors or whatever colors that come in those Versa sets, uh, I could always give away um, to other crafters. So now I have a yellow one and a white one for if I do want to use it, but mainly I use these two, especially with the airmail theme. It kind of works out, and I don't know. I just I like the whole stamping and stopping and taking time to to work on my pages. So. In a way, that's kind of what I've been using. If you guys want a more in-depth what my favorite journaling items have been lately, I can definitely do a video for you. But uh, that's what I've got so far. So hopefully I'll be able to have more of a, a dedicated journal update for you guys. But that's what's happening. I am going to go have lunch and eat. Yes, eat. Food is good. So I don't know if you guys do this. Maybe it's because I just get really excited with travel plans or I'm just a planner in general but who likes to do things months in advance. Anyway, uh, so I'm planning a trip and I'll let you guys know when I do finalize it, but um, do you guys do the same thing where you kind of know what theme you want to go with, or just you collect little bits and pieces and just throw it in with possibly the insert that you want? Because that's what I've been doing for the past mm, month or so. I have another Pan Am insert, and because I want it to be travel themed, I've thrown in like the washi tape card that I have, and anything that has anything to do with travel or whatnot, like that's a washi sheet, uh, washi tape sheet, um, some journal cards that have a travel theme, some Pan Am stickers and such. I, I've just, like, Tim Holtz ephemera that have a travel theme. I've just thrown in bits and pieces, so when I do get closer to the time of my travels, I will go through it all and really pick out realistically what I will be using. I don't know, that's just, I like doing that because it just 
kind of keeps me motivated, um, like something to look forward to, especially because lately I've only been able to do one big trip per year. Hopefully in the next year or so we'll be able to do a little bit more traveling, but that's, that's what I've been doing. That's a little side thing that I've got. I think I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the short little, I guess, journal ramblings video and are doing lots of creative things yourself. Um, I don't know if you guys are aware that it's uh, National Craft Month or maybe I just made that up in my head, but uh, I hope you guys are seeking out new exciting projects and just having fun journaling yourselves. Let me know what your journaling progress is so far this year. I have been loving my blue Midori and maybe I will do a kind of like a I've been in this for two months update what I think about it. Some things have changed in it and I don't know I just I find journaling so therapeutic and it's just it's a part of me, so I can't imagine not doing it every day, uh, or almost every day. So I know somebody has requested a video on what kind of things I journal about, so hopefully I will be able to do a dedicated video soon on journaling ideas and what I use my journal for personally, so you guys get kind of a... Uh, an insight on you know what you guys can do with your journals if you guys are having writer's block or just not feeling inspired or motivated to do it. Um, hopefully those ideas will kind of jog something. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much to my new subscribers and for my current subscribers who you guys are just continually supporting me and making great comments on my videos and encouraging me. I just think this is a great community and I really like YouTube as that outlet for, you know, reaching out to people who have similar hobbies and interests. So I will hopefully see you guys soon. Bye!